number 15 on WSGN's playlist. My goodness, this is almost incredible. Sam and Dave, I got a thing going on at number 15. Some of that soul music, that gospel call and response that they developed uh, basically on the nightclub scene in Miami back in the early 60s. And they got a deal with, uh, the name of the record company was Marlin Records, Sam and Dave. They put out a couple of singles. Then they got a deal with Roulette Records in New York City. And between 1962 through 64, they, they came out with six singles, but they weren't big hits. They were regional hits, like this one I'm about to play for you right here, but they didn't do anything on the national charts until they were signed with Atlantic Records in 1964, and Jerry Wexler hooked them up with Stax Records in Memphis, Tennessee. Stax Records was distributed nationally by Atlantic Records. So Atlantic Records was like the head and uh, well Stax Records was like the body. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a poor analogy but you kind of get the point I hope. And uh, and, that, and Sam and Dave would work with people like Steve Cropper, the guitarist, and then the big break when they hooked up with producer uh, David Porter and Isaac Hayes, but that's later. We're in 1964 right now. They didn't have their first R&B hit until 1966. 1964, Sam and Dave, I got a thing going on at number 15 on WSGN's playlist.